What is going on? It's Epsilon here and today's RuneScape 3 video we are looking at Elder God Wars and everything you need to do uh, to ensure that you have the smoothest release for the content that comes and also what sort of things you can do to make some GP and also make sure that you are ready for any other potential content that Jagex might release as part of this update. We'll get right into that now so stay tuned. So first things first, you're probably going to want to know what kind of format the updates are coming in with. Obviously, at the moment, we have the fight for the monolith or the battle for the monolith on RuneScape 3 right now. Um, when it comes into the game, however, you'll probably have a similar kind of format to that of uh, God Wars Dungeon 2. What usually happens with these big releases is they'll release a quest. Now with regards to the quest, what you'll need to do is it usually locks the content until you've completed the quest. Jagex has basically given us a few different things that you'll probably want to have to do. So they did come up with the skill requirements being the 75 Slayer, 74 Archaeology and 74 Magic is what they've um, mentioned within one of the news articles that they had on the game. So what that gives me a little incentive is obviously you're going to have to need to get your skills up to these kind of levels in order to either complete a quest that might be um, required or that there'll be specific content that comes out around these kind of levels associated to Elder God Wars. Now they haven't been too kind of clarifying on what that's going to be but I would guess it's more than likely a quest but it might also be some potential other content and we'll get into that at the latter half of this video. But let's get into what you actually need to do to prepare for this update. So obviously as with any combat related update, which this is obviously because it is to do with bossing and obviously the combat mobs that will be associated in the Gobbles um, dungeon I expect, it's very very similar to that. So you'll have some specific mobs associated with that. Now, first things first, you, you want to make sure that you've got the supplies uh, to get on with the bossing as soon as it drops and making sure that you're ready for that bossing as soon as it drops. So my key things for you guys is to make sure that you've stockpiled a lot of food. You want to stockpile herb law supplies. You want to have a look at some of the weapons um, th or the price trends as well to make sure that you have the right weapons for the job. Obviously, if you make sure that you have one of each different weapon type, it will mean that when you come to the bosses, um, that you're more than likely going to have the right gear for each different weakness that the boss may have. Um, one thing that I definitely would recommend because right now um, you'll see is the double XP prices of all of the food and stuff like that and the supplies has actually dropped um, significantly because after the update obviously loads of people have made all of the potions and various herbal supplies and the food. Um, so getting on that right away will mean that you basically don't have to worry about food then for a long time. So dropping you know, 10, 20 mil on herbal supplies and food supplies is going to overall going to save you a lot of money especially when the update drops and everyone's rushing to get as much food because they haven't prepared that tends to happen and you'll see that prices of all of these various different things skyrocket uh, towards the start of the update so you know as with uh, a lot of the archaeology stuff some of the related content went super high in price that really if you prepared for it you wouldn't have had to pay through the nose for all of these various different things uh, as with the update release so what kind of herbal supplies do you want? Obviously you want to get the highest level overload that you can in the game um, with regards to your level. So getting to level 96 and above will basically allow you to have all of these access to the overloads and um, making sure that maybe if you can get to 120 herb law um, before the update which is a bit of a tall order if you haven't already started um, and getting your way towards there obviously you can use the boosts from um, some of the pulse cores and stuff like that and uh, and banners to be able to boost up slightly your herb law level to, to get to the higher end uh, overloads as quickly as possible so make sure that you are doing that in order to you know when you get into the fight you're not at a disadvantage um, statistically um, because that's one of the worst things in game is when you get to that kind of level and you're kind of stuck um, with some of these um, requirements and that you know you, you'll have to grind out those extra levels to even be competitive against some of the bosses that will probably likely come into the game. Now 
We've also got some other things, food supplies. You need to make sure that you, you've stockpiled a lot of food because that is one of the key areas that everyone always undervalues is that they forget about food. Obviously, everyone's got to have it uh, in order when they come into these boss fights. And to learn the boss, you need a lot of food usually. You might want to have a look at some Sara brews and all of the various different associated combat bossing um, items because those always go through the roof um, to do with these new bosses as well because people are making tons of money from actually doing them meaning that they don't mind spending so much on the consumable cost of actually going up against the boss as well as learning um, you know some people are willing to spend millions just to learn the boss uh, at the initial release because it will make them millions in the future so make sure that what you do is you don't get caught out by the cost of all of these things and, and make sure you get on it straight away as of the recording of this video um, you might want to start purchasing all of this stuff um, right away now in terms of that's the supplies done we have a couple of other things you need to get your armor uh, and your gear ready for the bosses and also some maybe potential slayer mobs that might come out uh, with the release we don't know that that's 100% and it's kind of a bit of speculation with regards to maybe some slayer bosses and stuff like that but it's definitely not speculation when I say that you need to get the best gear possible for your level and for the amount of money that you have. It's really essential if you're going to go into this that you have high-end gear. Don't go trying to go into Elder God Wars with subjugation armor because it just isn't going to work. Uh, you're mo more than likely just going to get removed out of the boss encounter and you know, you'll know you probably be needing to upgrade your gear really quickly. So make sure in the next couple of weeks or four weeks that we have these events that you work on actually uh, spending some some of your money on upgrading your gear make sure that you do that as soon as possible because what tends to happen as with everything else as you get closer to the update release people will start doing this as they go oh, oh no I've not actually bought any of the gear ready for the update I need to do that and you may see that the prices of gear go up dramatically now with regards to this update what I would expect is that actually magic gear might actually start to increase more than the other combat styles that's usually because of um, the the bosses um, with regards to this update they've said that magic is a, is a key kind of area within the game and I would expect that some sort of magic drop maybe a new spell book maybe a new weapon or maybe some extra stuff that you can actually get within this new uh, content will be focused on on magic and that the balancing of all of the classes may change because currently it's predominantly melee meta and so what you'll see is probably the prices of melee uh, meta equipment drop um, on release if this happens and obviously Jagex have actually talked about balancing the kind of different uh, classes within RuneScape so make sure that what you do is don't spend all of your money on one class you might want to spend your money um, getting good gear on all of them and making sure that you choose one area that of your your gear that maybe is lacking say if you've got a range gear that you don't have any um, that could be highly useful especially if the bosses are magic related as well because obviously you want to look at the range or the magic weakness um, which is range so maybe purchasing yourself some range gear might help out with regards to some of the bosses in the in Elder God Wars. Now hopefully you've kind of found that useful. Obviously there's a few other things that you might want to take advantage of right now which is the wishes. Now obviously if you have invention or ancient invention and you've unlocked that through archaeology um, and you have all of these various different extra stuff within the game then you want to make sure that you use these wishes uh, to get the best in slot perks for your gear. If you were locked out as part of the RuneScape login lockout for months, then you'll be able to get yourself 300% charge on your wishes. Um, if you weren't, obviously you'll get 100% charge, and some of them, some of you may have 200%, etc. Now, if you've got 100% charge, what you want to do is make sure that you actually uh, get yourselves in the game. You want to get yourselves the best in slot perks for your gear. Now do that using various different perk guides i'm not going to go into the exact perk setup for all of the gear that you'll need because it could vary depending on what the best kind of setup for the bosses is which we don't know of yet but making sure that maybe if you save up some of your gizmos for the current best in slot perks don't put them on anything yet 
because you don't know which uh, gear might actually be the best so kind of just save them don't all use all of your wishes straight away because you may need um, some more gizmos when it comes down to the actual gear and uh, always keeping yourselves uh, kind of stocked up with that kind of thing will help out in the end now one more thing that you want to do before we move on to making GP with regards to Elder God Wars is actually practice some of the botting and find a team of players uh, with that you're basically familiar with um, on release and so that when it comes out you'll be straight away in with a team of players that you know you're, you know what kind of uh, players they're like you know how to get straight into the content um, as soon as it gets released so that you're not kind of having to try and find a team then gel with the team and so yeah it will basically save you time, it will make you more efficient, it will mean that you can get straight into the content as soon as it drops and you can all learn together then and it will basically be better. Now there's a couple ways of doing that, obviously you can use some of the the friends chats to try and meet some people uh, to do a little bit of bossing with, you can join a clan, you can do various other things in game uh, and you can obviously search on the forums for teams of different people use discord uh, there's loads of different ways that you can get in contact with some people to try out some bossing but i'd recommend joining a clan because that's where kind of you will meet players that will want to do some content with you and they're not necessarily elitist so if you're trying to get into bossing that's a good way of doing it um, as well as you know if you're already in a team of players that are experienced you will just want to make sure that you you're getting your rotations down uh, to do as much dps and, and making sure that you're trying out m multiple uh, combat styles because we don't know which combat style is going to be the best upon release uh, for the new bosses so make sure that you're doing that don't just focus on the one that you know the best try and focus on multiple different ones so that you are a bit more versatile when the update comes out because the least thing you want to do is jump in with a class that you've not played in a year or two years or whatever it is um, competitively anyway when you're doing bossing and now the final bit of the video looking at GP and obviously some potential other content what you want to start doing is obviously looking at trends of items uh, upon releases is, is obviously a good way of making sure that you um, you can make some money quickly on release and also buying the equipment like we've said the herbal supplies and food supplies can be actually a way of making GP if you don't have the specific requirements or you're unlikely to actually take part in the bossing where you'll need these supplies, what you can do is you can spend some of your money just purchasing all of these supplies. When they go up, obviously then just sell them. At the moment, they're currently quite low comparatively to what they usually are. Uh, that's because of Double XP Weekend just finishing on RuneScape. So make sure what you do is purchase some of those and then you can actually uh, go ahead and sell them on release if you're not actually uh, interested in taking part yourself or if you just buy way more than what you're ever going to use you can obviously sell some of those to make a little bit more GP it's going to be GP that's quite easy you're not having to actually do anything you're not having to think just make sure that you purchase some of the food and some of the herbal supplies uh, for people to make overloads um, so make sure that you get in the super ranging etc etc super magic and all of the content so you can do that by just going on the runescape wiki typing in overloads and what you need to require uh, to actually have them holy overloads and stuff like that now in terms of trying to make a little bit more GP if you have actual GP on your account right now is thinking about the prices of combat style gear and equipment now say if you've only got melee equipment right now what you might want to do is actually start thinking about purchasing yourself some magic equipment because this update seems to be centered around magic whether or not that is the actual case when it drops I don't know 100% so I can't say I'm not a uh, I don't know what happens in the future but what I'm kind of thinking is that there'll probably be some big buffs to the other classes uh, within this update because obviously melee is just taking complete control recently with regards to combat in general anyway um, and so making sure that you kit yourself out with some of the highest or elite gear um, before will also mean that maybe you might be able to sell them on for a little bit more as and when you can um, in the game now do you actually want to purchase some of the other gear if not you don't have to but there's other methods of maybe making some more gp now one of the key things that i always find has made me the most gp like in percentage wise so doubling my money tripling my money quadrupling is actually 
making sure I join in on all of the RuneScape streams so that when something gets talked about I can go onto the RuneScape uh, Grand Exchange, I can purchase the items that are most likely associated and use your brain a little bit in this one. So say if they say that magic is going to get a massive buff, what's that going to mean? Right, everyone's going to be using magic, what do they need to use magic? They're going to be needing more armour, they're going to be using uh, armour repair kits for elite tectonic and stuff like that. They're going to be using all of the various different um, weapons that are currently in the game. So they'll probably see increases in the price because the demand has increased. Um, so those are the sort of areas that you want to be thinking of. Making sure that you, you get on it as soon as the information has been kind of dropped will mean that you can make as much money as possible. One thing that I would kind of avoid with regards to trying to make some money is obviously just jumping on them straight away because we don't know what the actual update is going to contain, whether magic is even going to get that much of a boost and become the best magic style or best combat style in RuneScape, but it might be. And if you make sure that you stay updated with the news, kind of seems like a naff answer to making GP, but it genuinely is one of the best ways uh, that traders will make some money on RuneScape and you can see so much money uh, come out of these returns because you know that's the sort of thing that I've seen uh, myself personally uh, with regards to these updates and certainly uh, in the past I've seen you know with luck of the dwarves going through the roof I made a ton of money off of those um, when certain update news came out and that people were going to require them and stuff like that for certain aspects of the content on RuneScape. Now in terms of other content that you might see within the game, we do have a couple of other things, and that is that, yes, Jagex have been fairly secretive uh, with the release of everything in the game. If not actually said whether there's going to be any Slayer mobs or anything like that, um, but considering there are some requirements for, for potentially either a quest or some content that comes alongside Elder God Wars, now, whether or not that is a thing, we'll have to kind of wait and see but what I am thinking is just making sure that I've prepared some of my Slayer gear and making sure that I've optimised my perks for various different content that could be released uh, within that kind of area. I've also stockpiled some ar archaeology materials to make sure that if any new kind of um, area comes out with, within archaeology that I can just get straight on that. It's probably not going to make you too much money or anything like that, but it just means that you've got that one step advantage so that you can do it as fast as possible. You don't have to wait around or find out or try and buy a material that might go up in price. So yeah, yeah, kind of a key key area that you might want to have a look at. There may be some more relics that might come out that are combat related that might help out some of the other um, classes within the game other than melee, because I think that they what Jagex are trying to do is kind of um, balance these these classes within get within the game and make sure that you know you're not just having this kind of one a class that just takes uh, precedent over the others. Now, other than that, guys, I think that is it for the actual content of this video. Hopefully, it was a little bit informative. I am a max player in RuneScape, so I've had a little bit of experience. I've played for over ten years. I've seen a few of these updates, and these are generic trends that you'll see within the game so I'm not going to say any specific items are going to go flying through the roof because I don't know that I'm not you know I'm not magic myself I can't just think of uh, an item that is going to triple in price but if you keep an eye on these things you think about it with your brain it doesn't take too much uh, intellect to actually uh, pick an item that is going to go up according to the kind of news and the update information that they give uh, to to us because you know and that's the generic trends. People do it. People are going to keep on doing it. Doesn't really matter how many people actually plan for it. Um, usually, it will just go up anyway um, because you know, as people, a lot of people don't plan for it, and that's the key kind of area that you want to take advantage of in games like this, where they focus around a player-based economy. Now. Other than that, I think that is everything for the video. Hopefully you did enjoy. This is my first RuneScape video ever, so I hope it kind of comes across quite well. And I'll try and be doing content on the regular every other day maybe, um, and then maybe we'll move into daily content depending on how well these videos actually do. Obviously, if you like it, then make sure to like the video and also subscribe for more content. I would say that there'd be content on screen right now, but obviously there isn't any content. But if 
you are watching this after I produce some more, there will be my most recent video there and also a subscription uh, thing there if you want to actually subscribe to the channel uh, for more content like this. Other than that, I hope you have a great rest of your day and I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye.